guys, time for another One Simple Change video, and this week I'm going to be doing um, my vitamins and my medication, which the only medication I take currently is my thyroid meds, because I don't have a thyroid. If you're new to my channel, I had thyroid cancer, and um, about four and a half years ago I had my thyroid removed, but I am cancer free, so no worries there. But, I have some... Uh, um, an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's so I have to take a vitamin regimen because it the Hashimoto's makes me deficient in a lot of vitamins so um, I can't take a multivitamin because it's just not enough of the vitamin for it to work for me so I don't recommend taking these vitamins like this unless you get tested in fact like I take B12 and really, you don't need to take B12 unless you're deficient. It doesn't do you any good. You can't absorb more than a certain amount, I guess. So if you're not deficient and you take it, it's you, it's useless to you. So um, I am low in that, so I have to take it. So I'm going to put all of my um, vitamins in there. I might as well go ahead and tell you what all I guess I'm taking. So uh, where is my... So these are my these are my thyroid meds that I take them in the morning and in the afternoon. And I am going to go ahead and finish up these Juice Plus vitamins, but I've talked about this before. I'm not sold on this. I I um bought these a long time ago from a friend. She sells them. Um but they only have um vitamins A, E, and C in it. And um this is a whole food vitamin. It is a really good product, but, um, and it's made from real food instead of, like, uh, I don't know, synthetic vitamins, I guess you would call it. But, um, you, you pretty much barely cannot eat enough, uh, food, fruits and vegetables and stuff for, for you to have the vitamins you need. So I'm sure that's how this company came around. So this is, you know, a supplement, but it only has vitamins, a, E, and C in it. So I need a ton of other vitamins. So I'm not so sure about really taking these. Um, I think I think I might, if you eat enough fruits and vegetables, you might could get enough of it. Especially since it's only A, E, and C that ends up being in these after breaking down all the food and stuff. So I don't know, maybe <laughs> you, I don't know, you, you get my drift. So uh, I'm, I mean, but I bought them, so I might as well take them. They're not going to hurt me, so I'm going to just put those in a container. And then what else do I take? I take, no, I'm not taking that potassium anymore. I don't need the potassium. Um, I'm ta I take um, 5,000 IU um, D3. I'm very deficient in that. Um, uh, in most multivitamins, it's only like 1,000. That's not enough for me. And I take folate with my B12 because it helps you absorb the B12 and if you take you can take folic acid but folate is um, the more natural derivative of folic acid yeah so that's why I take folate rather than eh, than folic acid so I take iron because um, I am very low in iron I take two of these these are 65 milligrams um, yeah, so I have been anemic at times. And what is, and then magnesium. I take magnesium too. Um, yeah, that helps with muscle cramps and fibromyalgia. And um, yeah, so that's not really that much stuff. So I'm going to fill up my container so I can have a good week next week. Did I already say I did? I don't know if I said what I did on coffee. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I did pretty well on my coffee. Yeah, I don't think I told you. Um, I did have a, um, I caved and ended up having a coffee on, um, Wednesday, but I'll talk to you all about that in another video. So, um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do in this week. I'm going to fill this up and, okay, all set. All my pills are all filled up for the morning and, um, in case you take thyroid pills, in case you didn't know that you should wait an hour before you eat anything before after you take your thyroid pill and you should not take your iron pill with your thyroid pill you need to wait four hours so I have my hot iron pill in there but I know I shouldn't 
I know I need to wait four hours before I take that. So I have an alarm set on my phone and um, it's been turned off for a while. So that's another thing I'm going to do is reset the alarm so I can remind myself what to take. And then in the, in the evening, I'm just taking the other thyroid pill and the magnesium that helps me sleep. So um, these are all the pill bottles that I'm going to get rid of. I do not want to know why I'm saving. Those are all my thyroid, empty thyroid pill bottles. And this is empty and I did not have enough a week. For the week so I'm going to set it out on the counter to remind myself that I need some more um, vitamin D and guys don't don't fret about using one of these pill thingies I belong to a Facebook thyroid group that is really helpful information if you're interested I'll put the link down below and but there's been several people on that group that have said I don't want to use a pill sorter thingy how do you remember to take your pills without that I feel like a granny when I'm using that seriously get over it <laughs> you you when you have a thyroid condition sometimes you have brain fog and yeah you need to have a pill thingy and I have not been doing this for months and I've not been taking my vitamins I have been taking my thyroid medication just not Take my vitamins so I'm feeling pretty good this week so I can only feel better if I take my vitamins consistently yep that's one simple change <music>